everyone, Grant for the Flame Learning Channel. In this video, we're going to talk about an exciting new technology in Flame that lets you stream your video and audio outputs without the need for dedicated video hardware. This is called NDI and it has the potential to simplify workflows within your studio as well as enable remote workflows between you and your clients for an incredible review and approval experience. So we'll discuss a bit more about NDI, how to set it up in Flame and how to use it in various workflows. NDI stands for Network Device Interface. This open protocol, originally designed by NewTek, allows you to stream video and audio across a network with very low latency. This has had a major impact on the gaming and broadcast industries. With this technology now integrated into Flame, NDI behaves as a software-based video card, allowing you to broadcast Flame's output right across your network. So you get an 8-bit compressed stream, which is perfect for general monitoring and review. NDI is also OS agnostic, which means it can be viewed on most platforms using a variety of software and hardware solutions. So you can monitor all the way up to UHD resolutions, either locally or remote with very little delay. Let's take a look at how easy it is to use NDI in Flame. Whether you're using the Flame products on Linux or Mac, the process is the same. Before you boot the main Flame application, launch the Flame Setup app to make some quick adjustments. In the general menu, set your video and audio device to NDI. Next, switch to the preview menu and set your preview device to NDI. This is your broadcast output. To conclude the setup, the last thing you need to do is choose the resolution and timings for the broadcast output monitoring. For example, I'll go with 1920 by 1080 and I'll choose 25 frames per second. Click Apply to set all the changes and you're done with the NDI setup. To check that your settings have applied correctly, launch into your Flame project and look at the broadcast monitor preferences. NDI should be available as an output and you can choose the broadcast timings that were chosen in the setup app. Now a key point to remember is that Flame is outputting the NDI signal via software and not hardware. So you can monitor your output on the same machine or a remote workstation. In either case, the outcome will be the same. So I'll switch to my MacBook Pro on the same network and use a free application by NewTek called NDI Video Monitor. This is part of the free NDI tools available on the NDI website. The tools work on Mac and Windows and give you a variety of capabilities including NDI monitoring, capturing and testing. Just click the file menu and it will auto discover any NDI signals on the network. There is the flame output and if I scrub or play the clip, the playback will be very good. This is dependent on your network's capability, but NDI is quite robust and manages this very well. If I was to put both computer screens up at the same time, you can judge the outputs for yourself. So NDI monitoring could be used in the same room, another room in the building or anywhere in the world using a recommended VPN to access the same network. And all the video and audio is totally live out of flame. Now if you want to view your NDI signal on a broadcast monitor as opposed to a computer screen, there are plenty of third-party solutions that will convert the NDI signal into a HDMI or even an SDI output. Just do a bit of searching on the web to find the appropriate solution for you. Now monitoring Flame using the NDI Video Monitor is a great way to get your Flame's output to wherever you want. However, since NDI is an open protocol, 
There are loads of other third-party applications that also use NDI and they can give you an even more interactive experience with your clients. Let me give you one example. Here I have a Windows 10 machine and this is running OBS Studio. This free application is typically used to stream to the web as well as perform screen recordings. To use NDI with OBS Studio, you need to install the free NDI plugin from the OBS project website and then add the NDI signal as a source. So there is the output of Flame and you could stream this right across the network if you want. You could also set the output of OBS Studio as a virtual webcam and using the free NDI tools, you can do a Zoom call with this as your output. OBS Studio can also take multiple inputs including the Flame UI, which I'm doing over VNC, a potential webcam and combine that with the NDI output from Flame. This is just one of many possible solutions you could use to have an interactive remote session with a client. So loads of possibilities with NDI and the Flame products. Please subscribe to the Flame Learning Channel and click the bell to be notified for future videos. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. And thanks for watching.